Picture it. The year was 1993. It was the start of Bill Clinton's first term in office. Czechoslovakia split into the Czech Republic and Slovakia in the Velvet Divorce. Windows NT 3.1, the very first version, was released. The song Right Now by Van Halen was playing on radio stations everywhere, a part of its new album for unlawful carnal knowledge. See what they did there? And for me, I was just excited there was a pop song that featured piano, and this was years before I even heard of Ben Folds 5. Doom came out for PC. This is the 32X version. Star Fox came out on the Super NES. We'll follow up on both of those later. Uh, I can't believe I almost forgot. Myst came out that year, the classic genre-defying CD-ROM game. Uh, not this version, this is the Nintendo Switch Limited Run Edition. Uh, Real Myst's masterpiece, <laughs> whatever. I actually did forget about this, though, and came back and filmed this bit afterwards, so I can't leave this on the table because it would create a continuity error, so... <laughs> The Super Mario Brothers movie starring Bob Hoskins as Mario and John Leguizamo as Luigi came out in theaters. This is a fan version of the poster. Just imagine Bob and John, John and Bob. And this movie, ha, I tell ya. And for me, I was 12 going on 13, having lived almost my entire life in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, adjusting to my new life in the Madison area and going to my first engineering expo at the UW-Madison campus. And that song was playing... constantly. <laughs> and so it was against this backdrop of life upheavals and new entertainment possibilities that a new kind of soda was released, and to which these memories are inextricably linked. Crystal Pepsi. And what? Is this even a clear cola? Who asked for this? Who even wanted this? I mean, it, it doesn't have the look or body of a cola, and sure doesn't taste like Pepsi. It's more like a heavy caffeinated Sprite. And for some stupid reason, I could not get enough of it. But this? Oh, okay. Uh, to explain, uh, back in 2016, ostensibly as a response to a joke campaign to bring back Crystal Pepsi, Pepsi actually brought back Crystal Pepsi that summer. So, at least this time, I guess someone did ask for it. Now, I honestly don't know why this is. Like, maybe the campaign wasn't real and like an employee was actually responsible for it. I'm, I'm not really sure. All, all I know is the year before was the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future. And in Back to the Future 2, uh, we see a glimpse of the future, heavy Pepsi product placement, uh, and Pepsi missed the boat on doing a Pepsi Perfect in 2015. Instead, they had other things like uh, these. So Pepsi was doing everything but a tie-in to one of the most famous movie franchises of all time. So I guess they had to do something. And I still couldn't get enough. Hell, I could hardly find any at all because it really only existed in convenience stores and maybe Amazon. And I would buy as much as I could anytime I could swing out to a location and get it. And is it because it's good? <laughs> Hell no. I still don't know what this is or how to describe it, and I have no clear memories of 1993 and what it tasted like back then, so I can't really compare. It's just some sad, clear cola, I guess. Although, Pepsi, if you're listening, and I know you're listening, if you brought it back again, I would so buy some. Like, my, my love of Crystal Pepsi was so well known uh, to my work teammates that for my birthday last year, um, I got a big two-liter bottle, which was weird because I was pretty sure they weren't releasing those, and, well, let's just say I didn't throw up drinking it. <laughs> anyway, it's 2020, and now I'm triple 13, then for a few more days anyway, so... Where did this come from? It, it's been in my fridge, uh, along with two other bottles. 
So there was a 2016 release, and later there was a second batch in 2017, and this one expires uh, yeah, November 6th, 2017. Um, but, you know, it's just chilled sugar water, so I'm, I'm sure it's fine if I were just to open it right now and drink some, right? Oh, oh yeah, mm. that's sure, um, that's sure a taste in my mouth. Uh, speaking of Star Fox and Doom, uh, there's a new Famicom Dojo video coming out as part of our fall Future Retro 2020. Uh, so make sure you go over to the Famicom Dojo channel and subscribe so that you don't miss it when it comes out. Man, looking back in 1993, it really is amazing how the future turned out here in quasi-quarantine. Okay, no, no, I didn't forget. See, Cool Mint Listerine was actually introduced in 1992. Some people think it was 93, but I remember distinctly uh, watching the commercial for this in Eau Claire. So I'm positive it was 92. I looked it up, cross-referenced, made sure 1992. And for those who have no idea what I am talking about, there was a very famous commercial uh, that advertised the introduction of the new Cool Mint Listerine flavor, which up until that point was like this uh, yellow floor cleaner for your mouth. Um, and, and this was a brand new uh, version, which is now ubiquitous everywhere and pretty much the only kind you can find um, because people didn't like yellow mouth cleaner. But this is blue. And it was featured in an ad that was done entirely in CG, uh, which was an amazing thing for the time. Uh, right before, I, I think, mainframe animation started doing reboot. So this was a technological marvel, and also the year after uh, Terminator 2 came out. But it also featured uh, that Tarzan Boy song that was played everywhere at the time, and also featured in the Ninja Turtles 3 movie, which we don't talk about. But yeah, okay, so when I think of Crystal Pepsi, I also think of Listerine uh, because they were both part of an overwrought advertising campaign featuring pop songs that were overplayed on the radio for ever. But this is still widely available 18 years later. What do you gotta say to that, Pepsi? Make future plans. Forget about yesterday. Come on, turn. Turn this thing around. Right now.